Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I've noticed that there's, um, it's not necessarily a trend, but I've been seeing a couple of videos going around TikTok at the minute, where it's like the, the UK Bally makeup, <laughs> or British makeup, British makeup style, whatever. To me, British makeup is full coverage, full glam. Amen. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to be doing like my tech and my version of UK Bally makeup. Let's do this. So we're obviously going full coverage, full glam. Although what's new? This is like another tutorial for me, right? <laughs> These are also prepped with the P. Louise eyeshadow base. I'm going to start with this wee palette from Juvia's Place. This is the chocolates palette and it's just a palette of neutrals and then I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and just go into this shade first of all and this is just going to act as my transition. I'm obviously not going to be doing anything too revolutionary. <laughs> this is probably something that I've done many times before but it's just my tip on like UK body makeup. I'm not even joking. See every time I say that I would cringe. I cringe so hard. <laughs> I honestly feel like over in the UK, like all the makeup brands are absolutely killing it. Absolutely killing it. Like especially over on TikTok and like all the UK TikTokers and stuff. Like honestly, you should be so proud. <laughs> you know, like especially whenever you look at brands like P. Louise and Made by Mitchell, you know, like they started off so small. Um, and makeup artists themselves and they've literally just blown up and basically created an empire for themselves. Okay, so I just want to add a wee bit of something just within the crease, just to add as a wee bit of contour, add a wee bit of definition to the lid because I'm mainly just going to do like a really nice wee soft wing, kind of like a cat eye type of style and shape, something just really soft, soft glam, you know. I'm going to take this wee short shader brush from Colourpop, go into the Juvia's Place palette again, I'm going to take this kind of like warm brown. I've honestly done this makeup look so many times that you probably already know what I'm doing so I don't really need to say too much. <laughs> oh dear. But I'm just kind of creating a wee bit of a wing like this one here. As you can see I'm not dragging out too much because I don't want it to be extended too far. I just want it to be just like really really nice and soft. And then just bringing that shadow right over to the inner corner. But I think it's incredible as well, the fact that the UK makeup artists have completely changed the game whenever it comes to makeup as well, like, and especially within the beauty community. We have makeup artists like, say, P. Louise and her whole academy. And then we also have Stacey Marie. Um, Stacey Marie was obviously, just in case you don't know who Stacey Marie is, she had done the palettes in collaboration with Be Perfect, you know, like the carnival palettes, you know. So they're both obviously from the UK and like just like their makeup style, their makeup technique, like it just really brought out the art form in makeup and it just, it doesn't need to be serious, it's just, it's fun and it's art and just break the fucking rules, do what you want, paint your face. Because I know we all have our different opinions or whatever which we're completely entitled to. Um, but I do feel like makeup it definitely is like a form of art. Like a form of expression. I'm also kind of like blending it as I go as well so it's not as harsh so it's just nice and soft. I'm going to take one of my 03 flat liner brushes and go into this shade here and I'm just going to line my lash line. So obviously keeping that as tight as I can to my lash line and also slightly winging it out as well. I'm going to take this wee 02 brush and just do a wee bit of blending. Just kind of finish it off and just make sure that there's no harsh lines and it's all pretty seamless. Before I apply a wee pair of lashes, I'm just going to take this wee liner from Revolution. I'm just going to do a nice wee thin line along my lash line and bring that also right into the inner corner. And so I'm still waiting for my lashes to get tacky so I'm going to prep my skin with the Vive Skin Nova. Oh, 
I just love this product. <laughs> so if you haven't tried anything from V before and you want to try or buy something, I definitely would recommend the Skin Nova. It's just like the most beautiful like wee primer. I've even used it as a moisturiser. It's so nice. I'm using a new eyelash glue today and it's taken my lashes forever to dry. These are the lashes I'm using by the way. These like cat eye type lashes. I have noticed that they're actually quite hard to put on. I'm just going to take a mixture of two because I don't know if this is my shade or not. So it's the Be Perfect Chroma Cover in the shade N5. And then I'm going to mix it with a wee bit of the HM Cosmetics Luminous, yeah, Luminous Soft Focus Foundation in the shade LF9W. You know, I think what the problem is with this foundation is the fact that it's too thick to actually pump up the pump. <laughs> the luminous one, I feel like the formulation of it is a wee bit thinner in consistency. And the pumps work fine, but it's the exact same pump. So I remember just thinking like, is this one just far too thick to actually be pumped up the pump? Do you know what actually? I was a wee bit concerned about that shade. That's why I was going to actually blend it in with the H&B Cosmetics foundation because it's a wee bit darker. But I'm actually going to blend this in. I'll blend this out, sorry. And just see what it's like because I think it'll actually be okay. Yeah, that looks grand actually. It was just a wee bit... The colour in the bottle was just a wee bit deceiving. I'm going to switch to a sponge. Oh, do you ever blend that much and your arm gets sore? <laughs> Oh my god. Ew. Oh my god, I'm blending a big hair on my face. Oh my god, that's attached. Oh no, hold on. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like so hairy right now. Okay, so that, right, I was blending that. <gasps> Can you see that? Oh my god. Okay, is this just becoming like a routine or something of me trimming hairs off my face in my videos now? It's so gross! <laughs> ah. <laughs> because what? Was it yesterday's video? I like cut a hair off my head. Because <laughs> it was getting in my way. <laughs> so, I'm taking my Huda Beauty Full Filter Concealer. And I take the shade Royal Icing. What's your guys' favourite makeup step? Mine's is definitely like anything complexion, complexion products. I kind of feel like once you do your base makeup, um, that just kind of pulls and sets everything together and just finishes everything off. But definitely like foundation, concealer, and cream bronzer. Cream bronzer is just the cherry on the cake. Just a wee bit more concealer, but I'm gonna leave it. Um, and go into my HMB Cosmetics Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer in the shade SF5W, and I'm gonna do a bit of cream and bronzing. Do you know what, that looks painful. I have like a spot or a brick out here on like basically at my hairline and obviously whenever I was brushing like combing my hair to like slick this wee bit back I just yanked it and oh 
it just lift up the brow coat and it started bleeding. It was an eye watering experience. Not that you probably wanted to even know anything about that. I'm sorry, I do apologise, but I think it's just, you know. <laughs> I'm just going to blend this out with a brush today. This is the Kaleidos Dual Fibre Contour Brush. So this is actually something I wasn't wanting to bring up. I wasn't going to address this, I wasn't going to comment on it because I just kind of feel like there's no point and I just don't like addressing or talking about negative or nasty things on my channel. I, I, I want to talk about it because I feel like it's, it's annoying me and I don't know if you've noticed that I'm a wee bit quieter today because it's annoying me and it's in my head. Like I want my channel to be just like, you know, a safe space, you know, I want to feel like I can come on here and let you talk to you guys about everything and anything, like without judgement or just, I don't know, this is just like my wee safe space. So do you know what, I'm going to talk about it, even though I don't like to address hate comments or anything like that or anything shitty because I like this to be a happy positive place, I'm going to address it anyway. So basically I woke up this morning to a load of nasty comments in one of my videos. I'm not going to say what video it was, um, but basically I got called a racist. <laughs> and I'm laughing because it's literally the only thing I can do. But I'll tell you something now. See in my comment section, you can call me the fattest, ugliest, bitch, you can call me anything, slag my eyebrows, tell me, tell me, tell me how disgusting and how ugly my eyebrows are, tell me you can't watch me because my eyebrows are that bad. And I'm actually quoting these by the way because from actual comments, <laughs> but honestly tell me because I don't care, but don't call me a racist. All over the heads of me not knowing who a Mexican woman was. But yeah, I'm a racist because I didn't know who a Mexican woman was. And yeah, that, that, do you know what, it just, yeah, it really pissed me off. It really pissed me off at the simple fact that it's just not something that should be taken lightly. That word in particular is not a word that should be thrown willy-nilly about the place. Being a racist and racism is far more fucking sinister, excuse my language, than somebody not knowing the profession of somebody else. I knew who the girl was. I knew that it was Frida Kalu. But God forbid, I did not know that she was a Mexican artist. But I'm now a racist because of that. <laughs> at this point, I maybe feel like I'm talking shit and I'm just talking up my ass, but I feel like if you are somebody that has actually experienced racism, no matter what race you are, I would actually take offense to that. I really would. I'd be like, how dare you? Because seriously, how dare you? Like, how dare you? <laughs> just throw that word around so easy, so effortlessly, when there's no true meaning behind the reason why you're actually saying it. Like seriously, racism is far more sinister than I have ever fucking experienced and I will ever experience because do you know what? As a white person, as a Caucasian woman, <laughs> um, I have the privilege that I've never experienced racism before. I've never experienced it and that's a freaking privilege on its own. But that doesn't mean that something's not a problem just because it's not happening to me personally. So I do apologize about that wee run. But it's just, I don't know, like literally as soon as I woke up at like half six this morning, um, <laughs> and like I never do it, I never lift my phone straight away and look on my YouTube or anything like that, but for some reason I did. I, it was it, it was meant to be like. <laughs> um, and I think it was like the third comment I had seen and it just flip of a switch. It just ruined my morning. I'm so sorry for going on about this, but I feel like it annoys me even more because I know deep down in my heart and my soul, I'm like the least, <laughs> I'm the least racist person you'll ever come across. 
seriously and it just like I don't want to get annoyed or upset over it because that's just so stupid and cringe but like it freaking hurts it honestly is like putting salt on a wound like I'm just I've been called a racist quite a few times like here on my channel and I have to say call me anything call me anything under the sun and do you know what I'm human I have feelings yeah I'll maybe hurt it'll maybe sting but life goes on because do you know what see if you're saying nasty things to a stranger online that actually says more about you than it does me as a person so knock yourselves out at the end of the day I don't care who you are what you are what you claim to be what you identify as what color your skin is what your religion is <laughs> if you're a nice person I'll be nice to you <laughs> you know like it's 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 free it's free to be a nice person <laughs> but just don't call me a racist <laughs> so I'm taking the Studio London UGU set mist I'm going to do a bit of cream blush. This is the Studio London cream blush in the shade Empire. I always forget how pigmented this is. It's honestly such a nice wee blush. And like obviously, like as you've seen, I've set my face a bit, all that good stuff. And I'm still able to go in and apply it and it just applies so nicely to the skin. You also have the freedom to kind of build it up if you want to or just have like a nice way you wash a colour. Obviously it depends on how much you put in your brush. <laughs> um, but you see the way it's just the nicest colour. It's so me. It's just a me blush. I'm so sorry I keep on using this. <laughs> but I can't help it. It's really nice. Uh, this is the Rimmel London highlight. I take the shade 01 Stardust. Um, no, actually. I'm gonna take a smaller brush. Okay, I'm just gonna take the tiniest wee bit of this highlighter because I'm gonna use a blush that has a bit of a shimmer in it, so I'll get a bit of a glow from that blush. Which is the Revolution Pro Lustre Blusher <laughs> in the shade Peach. These wee blushes are stunting they're absolutely beautiful they're very similar i'm kind of guessing they're supposed to be a bit of a jip for the hourglass blushes but as you can see it's kind of marbleized with a wee bit of shimmer through the actual pigment to the color of the blush it's so beautiful <laughs> do you know i'm actually dying to do a full face of revolution pro um Revolution Pro's products are beautiful. I have so many of their eyeshadow palettes and they're absolutely stunning. Beautiful. And you don't really see a lot of people actually talking about Revolution Pro, but their products are so, so good. You know, like they're just a bit of a better quality, look more higher end. So nice. Just off the phone to Kyler, he was on his lunch break. <laughs> and I think I've mentioned this to you before, but he rings me every day on his lunch break and usually I'm always sitting here filming and he's always asking me like what colours I'm doing on my eyes or what type of makeup look I'm doing. <laughs> so funny. So I'm just doing a wee bit of bronzing, checking the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. So I'm going to be really annoying and actually do the same lip combo that I've done in the past two videos. I really like this lip combo. Um, it's the Revolution Lip Liner in Divine and then Boo Lipstick from Morphe. And then I'm also going to take a wee bit of the P. Louise Lip Base. But I'm just going to line my lips first of all. And taking a wee bit of baby doll from P. Louise. Keep in mind you can get P. Louise products on Be Perfect. And you can use my discount code to get like 20% off P. Louise products. P. Louise Doll Beauty. There's like so many other brands. 
It's in their mega store. I'm gonna do a wee bit of inner corner liner. Where did you go? Oh, there it is. So, taking again the Revolution Rockstar liner. I've been loving this wee liner for like doing my inner corner situations because it's a matte and it has like the finest wee like bristle brush tip. You can also say as well, feel free to do this with um, eyeshadow as well if you feel like it's a wee bit softer for you or a wee bit easier but I feel like whenever you do it with eyeshadow it doesn't last as long and it kind of it's easy smudged <laughs> whereas whenever you use like, a, like an eyeliner um, it's yeah it's a wee bit more unforgiven but it's going to last longer. I feel like that's, that, that's definitely one thing that uh, people from the UK, like us British people, know what to do and how to do is a bomb ass nude lip. <laughs> that's all those concealer lip days back in school. <laughs> Dream that miss. Pan stick. It was done. <laughs> Thank you so much, so much for watching. I will of course have everything that's sitting linked down below in the description box for you. I hope you all enjoyed. Do you know what? Actually, I'm not even done filming for the day. I must actually go and charge my camera again. Um, because I'm filming tonight, I'm actually wanting to film a get on ready with me and my nighttime skincare routine and I actually asked you on Instagram a couple of weeks ago what you wanted to see on my channel and somebody had requested um like a nighttime skincare routine or something and that's what I'm doing tonight and hopefully that'll be on my channel tomorrow night um I'm thinking I'm trying to look you up on Instagram by the way and give you a bit of a shout out and be like thank you because this is your idea. <laughs> so I think, I'm going to be so embarrassed if this was not you but I think your name on Instagram that I suggested that was Lavender Loco. Um, Anywho, so that's it for me and I guys. Again, thank you so, so, so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one.